Alright, so what I did first, I just took some blue tape and I taped it off right at the edge of the rectangle uh, that we did. And uh, next thing, I have my device with my photo open, full size, so I can look and see where the values are going to go. And now I'm going to start by putting in the values. Uh, and I'm going to start on this side. And one thing you might want to do is just grab a piece of scrap paper. This is just a, a piece from my uh, journal, my extra journal pieces. And lay it down on top. Because remember, the graphite is really soft. So if I put my hand down on the graphite here, what's going to happen is it's probably going to smudge. And I don't want that to happen. So I just grabbed an extra sheet of paper. I've got my water cup. And I've got my paper towel. All right. So I want to start with the values in the skull. And again, remember, if I go in and I start putting in some really dark darks, everything around that, I can kind of pull the values away with the brush, some of the darks in here, okay? So remember that basically you're not going to be really shading a ton of the actual skull with the pencil. You're just really going to be putting in some of the uh, detailing stuff with the pencil and then the brush is going to do the rest. Our goal here is not to try to get 100% photorealism. With a wet media, like the sketch and wash pencil, that's not going to uh, allow it to happen because of the softness created by the water. But what I do want to remember is where those highlight edges of separation are, okay? And then the transitions in values. So I'm going to be doing very little drawing or shading with the sketch and wash pencil. I'm going to be doing most of that with, uh, with the brushes and the water. All right, so I'm going to start putting in the values Again, looking for the areas that are darkest. So I've got the area right in here. Doing it texturally. Okay, again, there's really no sharp lines here that I'm not, I'm not trying to create anything that's sharp. I've got some values in here. And again, now I'm looking for the darks. Because as we know, even that dark of a mark right there is something that I can then create a more accurate representation of the value using the brush and the water. I'm actually, I'm actually using the pencil a lot like a brush. Just kind of marking areas of value. Notice too, I'm not outlining. All of that is going to be done with the values created in the background. Okay, any of the edge of separation between the form and the background is going to be done by the shading that I put into the background. 